Adobe.com has released a GBT in the GBT store. So in today's video, we're going to see if this thing is any good. Can we actually start leveraging it within ChatGPT's interface to get value? Or is this just a grab by Adobe to get a ton of traffic to their site? Let's find out. In today's video, we're going to see if the Adobe GBT is any good. We've done reviews on other GBTs on this channel, such as the Canva GBT, and we saw how it was limited in certain contexts. So in this video, we're gonna see if the Adobe GBT is limited in the same ways, or if we could genuinely create an entire poster within the chat GBT interface, which would be extremely powerful. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to leave a like. Also at the end of this video, you're gonna see an entire playlist dedicated to GBTs and creating GBTs. Let's jump in. As a side note, in order to get access to this functionality, you will need to pay $20 a month, be a plus user, Right now, though, GBT is actually, or chat GBT is actually free, or 3.5 is actually free. So if you do an incognito tab and you type in chat GBT and click the link, they've allowed the entire world to get access to chat GBT now, 3.5. That's pretty cool. I think that's a step in the right direction to make this more public. Let's find out about Adobe. We're going to click this. We got some reviews here. We got 3K or three stars, only 10,000 conversations. So this is brand new. And just to prove this is Adobe, we can go to the link here and just see right now. This is the link it brings us to. I personally only use Adobe in the context of Photoshop. That's how I make my thumbnails and other graphic design stuff for the software I'm developing. Let's go ahead and see if this is any good. We're gonna hit start chat. So typically when I like to test GBTs, I like to push them to the limits, especially in these kind of videos, because some of y'all might feel like maybe I'm not saying the right thing. That's why it's not giving me the right answer. But sometimes y'all, it just can't give the answer. Like it's just not built like that. So right off the bat, let's start with something simple here. I'm going to say design a logo for my donut shop and see if we can even do that. We're going to hit always allow so that we don't get proctored every time we talk to this GBT. Also, open AI. Don't ask for a review until like probably a couple more conversations. Okay, so we're getting some results here, but they seem to be templates from past things. Okay, first gut check. Let's see if it can change the text. Okay, in the design can... We have it say, uh, we'll do quotation mark, apples and horses donuts. Let's see if we can handle very specific text in the design. First cut check has failed. Does not allow us to create custom text within the ChatGPT interface. I believe if I click this, if I click it, it will bring me to the Adobe interface to begin editing further. Second gut check here. Can we add a DALI image into the design? say design three, e.g. the donut check. Doesn't have the capacity to do that either. So this is kind. Of, this is the kind of stuff that we saw of Canva as well, like very limited. Once they take the time slash go the route of actually allowing us to design within chat GBT's interface with a GBT, this kind of stuff will be more powerful. But right now I'm getting the inkling this is much more of a search directory type GBT, e.g. we just look through the themes that they currently provide within Adobe's backend. And then anything we can do past that, we have to actually use Adobe's front end. Backend, front end. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and try again. We'll say, I need a flyer from Sports Podcast. To assist you better, could you provide me more details, specific elements? Uh, we do sports. We do football. Starting action. Anytime you see that, y'all, that means it's actually communicating with Adobe's interface, software, backend, whatever you want to call it. Oh, wow. That's funny. <laughs> this isn't a, this is a international platform. So when you say football, you have to say American football when you mean American football, because football is soccer too. Okay. Interesting. So we got that right there. Okay. Not good. <laughs> so if I click one of these, it seems like, yeah, it's going to take me to the interface, right? Okay. Now, obviously, if you like how it looks right off the bat, we can right click it and save the image this way. Let's see if we can push this a little bit further here. For example, make a Facebook post about my bake sale. Let's see the implications of this. It seems like there is a pretty big limitation here, y'all. When we think of GBTs and we think of design, what we want as a community is the ability to be like, I like one, put this text, put this image, do this, this, and this. Alternatively, as up to this point, whether that has to do with legal implications or due to the fact that Adobe is incentivized to have people jump to their website, it seems like this is limited to an extent of just being a search engine of Adobe's templates. 
There's a real quick review of the Adobe Express GBT. No, I'm not gonna lie to you and say this is the best GBT I've ever seen. I'm going to be brutally honest when using these kind, this kind of technology. And I hope that cleared up some air that if you were using it personally and you're like, why the heck is this not working? It's working, it's just limited, is what it is. Check out the playlist at the end here where I'm going over everything about GBTs. Whether you wanna create your own GBT or you wanna check out other GBTs. I am saying GBT a lot. GBT, 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 GBT. See you in the next video. This is the playlist I was referring to when dealing with this kind of technology. That's a random video on my channel that either is good or is not good based off your clicks. And that's my face.